Okay, first let me apologize if this video looks like crap. I'm filming it with my phone. I made a horrible mistake. Okay, first let me apologize if this video looks like crap. I'm filming it with my phone. I made a horrible mistake. I have lost both of my SD cards and the SD card reader that I use to transfer the videos to the computer to edit them. Um, I put them in a pocket in my jacket. Well, come to find out. Let's see here. Hold on. Where is it at? Where my jacket at? Yeah, there it is. Look, I put it in this pocket here. Well, look, the pocket has a hole in it. So, yeah, they're not in there. They're gone, and I, I, I have no idea. So all of the footage that I had that I recorded of all of that, as of right now, it's missing. So now, I don't know what to do. But anyway, um, I bought some some ammunition. It was a good sale. Uh, that's for my 22. And then I bought some double lot buckshot, which is pretty cool. Here, I'll show it to you. This is from my my boom boom stick. But anyway, you can see the um, you can see the the pellets in there. And then this right here, it's called the wad. And then that's where your powder sits. But anyway, this is why we are here. Check this thing out. This is so cool. And I have to get ready for work. So I'm like doing this at the last second. But um, yeah, this thing came in. This is so cool. On top of that, it's water cooled. Isn't that so cool? These are like... The instructions for it on how to build it it even comes with a, a temperature a digital temperature gauge uh, it comes with a water pump which let's see here um, like I said sorry if it if this video looks like crap I'm not using my GoPro because usually when I film I film with this the GoPro 8 um, and this sucker it's 4k and you know that's what you guys are used to and here I am with my phone. But anyway, um, these are the hoses to transfer the water to it. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, that's the pump. Yeah, the pump. That transfers the water to it. Okay. Uh, that is the power box. Yep, to run it. Okay, so what this is, wait a minute, let's see, it looks like there's a, a, a gauge on it. Oh yeah, there is a gauge on it. That way you can control the power. And then you have the actual item, which is this thing right here. I wonder, let's see if I can't get it out. Well, maybe... Let's see here. Sorry. Hang on. Okay. So that is where your water runs into. You're in and you're out. And then it runs all the way down into the other side. So this is really difficult. All right, what it is, it's an acrylic heat bending machine. So what it does is there's a super like hot conductor inside. And what it does is it super heats and super shorts out at the same time. And as it's shorting out, 
it's causing heat to develop inside of that spring. So basically what happens is from zero degrees to like 800 degrees in a second. And what it does is it superheats for a quick second in one straight line the acrylic. So you lay a sheet of acrylic over it and it's a 12 inch burn or a 12 inch slide whatever you want to call it it's 12 inches that's how much from here to here is 12 inches and what you do is you lay the acrylic over and then you turn it on and it superheats it for like two seconds not even two seconds I mean it's like fram, and then that's it and then the acrylic goes limp and then you have about five seconds to bend the acrylic whichever way you wish to bend it and then hold it there and then the acrylic will dry and form that shape so that is what this thing is and it was expensive it was like a hundred bucks for this thing but I think it's pretty cool because it's water cooled it's like I bought it and it's water cooled how cool is that that's awesome right I mean I think it's a cool little kit comes with hoses comes with a pump that's pretty cool. I want to open the pump. Let's, hopefully I don't run out of memory on this phone. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's a submersible pump. Ooh, so that means I'm going to have to stick it like in a thing of water? Ay, ay, ay. I didn't know that. See that? This isn't like your typical pump where you hook it to a reservoir. This is like you set it in a bucket and let it pump the water. Although the this little plastic piece, I guess, just covers that. That's off. I'll have to fix that. But there's the... Well, okay, so it's just an in to an out. And I guess the what you do is you put this in a bucket and you run one tube into here to cool it and then the tube out just runs right back into the bucket and they included I mean probably every bit of three feet and that's a nice big diameter oh my god I almost forgot something I need to show you guys this hey where's that digital thing at oh there it is okay there it is it's 21.4 Celsius in there whatever that is okay so I have this gaming chair okay this this thing all right I did a video on it a few months ago Ugh. I hate it it sucks my dog hates it I hate it we both hate it it sucks so much it's so uncomfortable that you have to put a, a pillow or a blanket or something there to protect you and it's it's oh I hate it the armrest look at the armrest see how they're bent they they bend easy and they're just it's junk like I hate the chair the chair is so uncomfortable it make it hurts your butt it hurts your back um, the only good thing about the chair is that it leans all the way back and that's it that's the only feature of it but other than that I hate you so much that I went out and spent another couple hundred dollars and bought this you know paylesshere.com it's not where I got it from but maybe I did get it from there I don't know I bought it off at Amazon it's black it was made in Vietnam that's cool it's a big big oh it's a big box big 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 box anyway it's my new chair it's a recliner chair and it's super comfortable fingers crossed but anyway we'll do a video of me unboxing and doing all that later but make sure to get subscribed for that so anyway I gotta go to work I appreciate you guys when I get to work god my room's messy right now Woo, it's messy